Hello, it's Victoria Rose here, and today's video is probably one of the last ones in Japan because I tomorrow's my last day in Japan for, I don't know when I'm coming back yet, but today I'm just going to do a video of eating in 7-Elevens. In Asian countries, 7-Eleven is like, um, they're kind of like everywhere. So it's pretty easy to just eat from a 7-Eleven. It's kind of like the vending machines here. Very convenient and they have a lot more selection. It's not just a gas station thing. I actually haven't seen a 7-Eleven gas station in Asia. So today I am going to eat vegetarian style in 7-Elevens for the full day and see how that goes, just for fun. Let's go into 7-Eleven and see what we can find. A lot of Japanese people eat at 7-Elevens because they're super convenient because a lot of them work a lot. So I got two things just to start the day off with. I got coffee, which I'd normally get out of a vending machine, but it's the same price, same thing. Just get like a black coffee, which is cold because they changed it to where they don't really have a lot of warm coffees during this season. And then I just got one of these things. It's an egg rice. Okay, so it's like 5 o'clock and I haven't eaten anything today. My sleep schedule is completely crazy, but hopefully it'll even back out whenever I get into uh, America in a couple days. But, um, so this really is me starting the day off eating. <laughs> it's gonna get dark soon, but... Oh, that was close. Okay, so... Coffee first thing. This isn't like a healthy diet or anything, but... I figured I should do one more video like this while I'm here in Japan and then just clean eat AF whenever I'm back in America because food here has been a little bit challenging. It's really hard to find a place to just sit down and eat things but you're not also not allowed to walk and eat so it's, uh, it's difficult uh, but I still need to eat this thing. It's like almost like seven o'clock or something. Uh, don't, don't follow this diet please but these things are very popular here. Just like rice and then there's something in the center. This one has egg in the center. All of them have fish or seaweed or something inside of it. So it's very popular for people to eat here. But I'm gonna eat this now. I kinda wanna show you guys how to open it because it took me a while to learn how to open it. gloomy day today. The sun never came out. Comment below if you call it a teeter-totter or a seesaw. He says nobody calls it a teeter-totter, but I think, I think you do. <laughs> um, yeah, also growing up, we weren't allowed to say fart. We had to say putt. Anybody else? Relatable? <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna break my, don't, like that's jarring. Don't. <laughs> my next meal is going to be 7-Eleven! Okay, I'll probably get um, I kind of know all the foods in 7-Eleven now because I do eat at them often They're quite convenient, but I'm gonna try to um, Make this kind of like a healthy type of thing. I've been talking too long. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go back to 7-Eleven Nighttime is fallen falling <laughs> So I guess it's time for my second meal. I think there's a 7-Eleven around here somewhere and I'm going to There's Family Mart. Wait, is there a 7-Eleven? I think we're gonna try to, to film something cyberpunky today since it's kind of like our last day to film stuff together the mask man or whatever I swear that I saw 7-eleven, but maybe it was family mark Easier just to go to the family mart, but keeping it to 7 Eleven. Mm. 
I got an egg. I got a fruit and vegetable smoothie, which they have a lot of these. I really like them. Just like fruits and vegetables. And then I got a soy milk, which is like seven grams, or almost maybe eight grams, seven grams of protein. And then the egg is probably, I don't know. I can't read Japanese, I'm not gonna pretend. But it's good, good protein, I guess, content. I don't like soy milk, by the way. Okay, so I drank my soy milk. Yum. And I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna eat some of my <laughs> egg. <laughs> this is content. I'm not vegan, I'm vegetarian. I have to keep saying this over and over again. Another perk about 7 Eleven is they're open 24 7 everywhere, all of them. So. Try and film something sort of cyberpunky right now. Uh, the streets in Iki. It's just there, sweetheart. I know how it's spelled. I just don't want to say Ikibukuro, but it sounds stupid when I say it because I'm American. Ikibukuro. Now that I'm looking for 7-Elevens, I only see Family Mart. So that's kind of annoying. But I'm not hungry right now. I think I'll, I always eat like the most at nighttime, which again I know is not cool, but. I'm probably just going to get the bulk of it when I get back home. So right now we're going to film something and maybe I'll show you a little behind the scenes of that. But there's so many people out, especially on a Friday night. It's really annoying to have to try and film things because everybody's watching. Your hair's like gone really pink again. I know because all the orange faded out. I'm going to put orange in it again. <laughs> Anyways, enough about my hair though. Nobody cares about that. We're gonna try and set this up. There's a lot of people here, so it's gonna be kind of awkward to try and do this. But our, our vision is pretty simple, so we'll see how it works. So we're gonna do this one with masks on. Our vision is um, to kind of blow smoke out of them. So smoke as in like a vape, but we don't vape. I don't vape, just so you guys know. But we hold it in our mouth and then blow it out. So we're gonna do that. So what we're gonna have to do is go like this. How much is all? How much is all? I can roll this. I don't recommend. Can tips? A little less. Kind of want to get another coffee. Okay, 
So I got some chilled ramen, which there is meat on top of it, but it's separate, it's all separated. So I don't have to eat that part, but the other parts are fine. And I don't know, I think it'll do. And then I got another coffee for 93 yen, which is like a little, like 90 cents to keep me going, so <laughs> yay. I do believe that Japan does produce a lot of waste because everything is bagged and everything, you get bagged for literally everything and everything is packaged. So sorry about that, don't judge me. I can't help it. You got me in there. Yeah, just this one part. All right, now that's gone. <laughs> so. This is awesome. Is it? What does it taste like? Plastic. Mixing around a little, and I'm gonna use a soy sauce. I'm not really sure about this. I don't think. I don't think, but it has. It tastes good, but it doesn't. I don't think it has fish in it. You don't think it does? The taste of it, really doesn't taste of it, but I'll taste it first. I don't think it's fish in that. It tastes good, doesn't it? It doesn't really taste like fish. No. I think you're okay with that, but I can't yeah, be 100% like sure. Sauce. This is the trouble in Japan. You gotta put it all in. We just mix this all around. I prefer ramen, not cold. It doesn't taste like fish. It tastes good, doesn't it? It tastes fresh. <laughs> yeah, like cold soba, cold udon. Tastes good. They have different sauces for it. <laughs> Not even public anyway, it doesn't matter. I see people doing it all the time. <laughs> yeah. You have to, it's like, what else are you supposed to eat? But yeah, that's me eating ramen. <laughs> so found this, we, we found this cool little Japanese looking side street to film on as well. So we're gonna go back now. I'll probably find 7 Eleven again. <laughs> and um, I don't know what I'm gonna get. They're not hard to find, they're everywhere. Not very motivated today, so, but we're trying to do stuff anyway. This bag is dripping. <laughs> Tori's leaving in. I'm leaving a day? in a day, so we're kind of a little sad. I'm scared to go back to Los Angeles. I'm really scared. My next vlog will be me leaving Tokyo or being back in America. I'm not sure which one yet, but that's not the point of this video. It's a 7-Eleven video, <laughs> but I always add in my um, personal struggles of life. In every single video, you can expect that. Alright, let's go back to 7 Eleven again. It's pretty late at night at this point, but I'm pretty hungry too. So, this last 7 Eleven stop, this is 7 Eleven I went to at the beginning of the day. I'm gonna find some, some food. Everything else is closed this time of night. It was actually extremely stressful. <laughs> like, I didn't have enough money, so I had to pour all my coins out on the counter. And then I'm like, yeah, I probably have enough. And then I didn't, because it was like $5. And so I'm like, okay, I'll just pay with my card, um, my train card. So I tried that, but I didn't have enough money on that either. So we had to like separate it, and then I had like coins everywhere. And I was just like, <laughs> sorry, sorry, come in and say. <laughs> and then I had to like shuffle them back into my little pouch. Humiliating. Let's last of my food for the day so I'll show you what I got back at home. Home? Not really home. I'm poor. <laughs> I got this miso soup that it was 93 yen which is like 90 cents or something. It's like these little edamame rice crackers. This just looked interesting. I never saw anything like it here. It's a soy milk donut and it was cheap. So I'm like, I'll just, I'll try that. Of course, I'm not gonna get that healthy of stuff at 7-Eleven, but I'm trying. And then I just got like this little egg salad thing. I guess I'm going to put some hot water in this and make this miso soup. This miso soup is actually really good. Here we go. Put it on me. So these for the bag have four grams of protein. This donut has four grams of protein. It's egg salad stuff probably has. It has at least six grams because an egg has six grams. So it's probably upward to like seven or eight grams of protein. The miso soup might have like a few because of the tofu bits. So in all, 
it's a pretty good amount of vegetarian protein. Not the healthiest in the world, but I'm trying my best. Now let's try this donut. Nothing spectacular, but it's really good. That's my little 7-Eleven haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe and like for more videos like this. This may be my last vlog in Japan until a little bit, but I'm going to be making more Japan themed content because it's somewhere that I want to kind of move to and live. So I want you guys to be able to expect that from here. I love you very much. Stay extraterrestrial and I'm going to very soon make something a lot healthier. I don't want to keep showing you guys me eating crap. That's not the message I want to portray. All right. I'll see you later. Bye bye.